<laughs> Get up. Welcome to a Walmart clearance video. My name is Super Unsexy, and today I'm wearing my Maury shirt because we're bringing the results. And when I say results, I'm talking about penny results. We are going extreme penny shopping at Walmart, and we're doing it at 20 different stores. And if you think that sounds ridiculous, you betcha. And I'm going to show you so much Walmart clearance, it's going to blow your mind. It's really going to blow your mind. This whole thing's a true story. And just thank you so much for being here. The very first thing I want to talk about for all the new people watching is hidden clearance. We're going to do this a lot in this video. So hidden clearance is when you scan any item inside of Walmart with the Walmart app and reveal an even lower price. The Walmart app is 100% free and you can do this with any item. Check out this board game. This says $15.86, but when we scan it with the Walmart app, we reveal a true price of only $1. That's cute. But we're looking for penny items in this Walmart. Three cents is as low as you can find an item inside a Walmart, and we're not gonna stop this video until we do it. And since toys have been on clearance for well over a month, that means there's some three cent toys lurking in the aisle. So we're gonna check the toy section diligently until we find a penny item. One of my greatest strategies in finding three cent items is to always check the top shelf. You always see things just kind of sitting around. Now I've seen these toys on clearance in the past month. It's only 75 cents. It's actually a great price. There's 12 of them, but it's not three cents. So I put it back lower so some customers might be able to find it. And then I saw this Dr. Pepper mini fridge on clearance for $15. And I just asked myself, what would Maury do in this situation? So I bought the dang thing. Did you know you can buy items inside of Walmart for just pennies? Don't move a muscle because I am going to show you everything you need to know. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. Here we are at Walmart number two. I make no promises, but I'm going to do my best to find penny deals. Let's just do this thing. So I immediately went to the clearance section in Walmart number two, and I saw tons of toys and games right off the bat. And some of these items, I saw them at this price last month at a different Walmart. Every Walmart has different prices. So if your Walmart doesn't have these prices or you've already had these prices, you gotta keep an eye on your local Walmart. Every Walmart is different. But honestly, that's what makes hunting for clearance deals all the more fun. I'm going to a lot of Walmarts in this video. I scanned that Nerf toy. It's all the way down to $20 hidden clearance. So I'm not gonna show you every single thing, but I'm gonna show you the cool stuff. Like check out this hat, $17.99 all the way down to three dollars when you scan it with the walmart app walmart hidden clearance there's been lots of great prices on baby stuff lately i see this pioneer woman cutlery set then we see a glue gun but there's no penny items in that aisle i promise i checked everything I continued my search into the toy section and I found this Minnie Mouse hotel that said it was $50 on the price tag, but I scanned it with the Walmart app and it was only $12 hidden clearance and there was two of them sitting right there on the shelf. If you're enjoying this video, could you take two seconds of your time and smash the like button to let YouTube know you think it's a good video? It really means the world to me. I appreciate all of you that do it. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I want you to join our family. This store had some clearance Legos hanging around, but we're gonna find some Legos later. And to be honest with you, I was a little upset because I came to this store specifically because I saw the had three cent items on the Walmart app, but I couldn't find any of them. However, I did find this $15 bag that was only $4 when I scanned it with the Walmart app. So we do have that. And even though I didn't find a three cent item in this store, I want to bring you as much value as possible. So I want to tell you this, you want to study aisle centers and end caps because those are the clues that tell you what's going to drop in price. Those are the items they want to push out of the store. Actually, let me explain it to you. Listen up, this is so important. The thing is, your local Walmart is unique. There's probably some Walmart in Colorado right now and they have a surplus of hoses sitting out back and they know they need to move them because they need to make space. They're gonna bring those hoses to the front and sell them for $1. Now, I won't be able to get that deal, not around here. In retail, movement is healthy and Walmart knows exactly what they need to move inside of their store. So pay close attention to the center of the aisles in the end caps because those those are the items that Walmart knows they need to move. They're putting those items in position to move first. At your local Walmart, pay very close attention to these sections. Your Walmart is unique. But in this video, we are searching for a three cent toy because I wanna show you that it's possible. I've shown you in the past and I'm going to show you again. Let's go. All right, we just got to Walmart number three and the whole thing is embarrassing. I was gonna hold up this bag of pennies and say, let's go in here and see if we can find a penny deal. But the bag flipped upside down and I spilled pennies all over the ground. Can you see them? Super embarrassed, don't tell anyone. Let's go in here and see what we can do. 
I walked into Walmart number three and I just went right at it. I wasn't messing around. I scanned things in the bike section because you just never know. And I found these bike child carriers. They fit two children, $49, regularly $100. You also want to make sure you scan big ride on toys. Around this time of year, a lot of those tend to hit clearance. I see some superhero flash drives for only $1. And the entire time I'm channeling my inner Mori because I'm trying to deliver the results. I see these cups for $3.50. Then I went over to the clearance section. I saw a delicious little hat for $17. I see a vacuum. I see a dead pool head that was kind of neat and you see these toys right here these toys are typically three cents at some point i've actually shown you this for three cents in a prior video i danced with the guy but here it is not three cents and that's okay because i'm never giving up and does anyone know what this is i'm perplexed i think this is a leather oven glove i'm not sure let me know in the comments if you know what this is i searched this clearance section frantically from top to bottom i'm just going to show you a quick montage of what i saw because i don't think it's worth showing you every single thing because we're here to find three cent items and i know i need to get moving because i can't end this video until I find one. I saw this little tyke's table just sitting there all by its lonesome, so I scanned it with the Walmart app. It was on hidden clearance for only $29. Then I saw an end cap. Remember what I told you about end caps? They had these pressure cookers for $89. I scanned one. It was only $30. But the thing is, there was no penny items in this store. And there's a part of me that just wants to go outside and call Kathleen. But on my way out the door, my wings caught a little bit of magic. Check out this. It's right in the aisle center. Like I told you in the crash course, you need to check the end caps in the aisle centers because this ball pit was only $2 hidden clearance even i was a little shocked that's a really good price i am totally maury bringing the results but not the penny results yet we will find one and i almost forgot all right that was walmart number three let's call kathleen really quickly because i'm getting a little nervous about this video hey babe 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 come on babe 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 this video isn't going too well. I drove really far to the last three Walmarts because it said on the app they had a three cent toy and I haven't been able to find it. Oh well, just make a video about something else. Come on, babe, you know I'm not a quitter. I wasn't built that way. I'm in it to win it. This video does not end until I find a three cent toy. You better stick around. <laughs> babe? 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 I am genuinely getting nervous. My wife Kathleen loves tacos and this bag is only $1. It says after this we're getting tacos so I'm going to buy her this as a gift. In terms of clearance, I see some clothing, I see some cups, I see some hand towels and then in the distance, I see the most beautiful yellow sign hanging from the ceiling. It's clearance time. Right off the bat, these binoculars for $1 caught my eye. I just decided they're cheap enough to play around with. I'm going to get a pair for each of my boys. So I stuffed them in the taco bag and looked around and for the most part, a lot of this stuff is the same stuff I saw at prior Walmart. But at the other end, there's reason to attack because I see see some interesting stuff down here. Check it out. These disc drying mats are $5, but that's not what I'm talking about. Look behind me at this Lego set. This is what I call a hidden gem. This Minecraft Lego set regularly $70 all the way down to $17.50 when you scan it with the Walmart app. Hidden clearance, baby. I stuffed that thing right in the taco bag. And this toy right here, I actually bought this for only $11 a month ago. It's one of my proudest moments as a father. I walked into the house. I literally recorded this video and my boys were so grateful. They gave me a hug and said, thank you, dad. I love you so much. I love it. There were some other signs of deliciousness throughout this clearance aisle, but nothing for three cents. There were no penny items in this clearance section. I did see these visors for only one dollar, these barbecue rags for only a dollar, and a pet towel for 75 cents. At this point, I was a little discouraged and I had no idea what this video had in store for me. I checked the video game section for three cent items and nothing. So let me show you how to pay for hidden clearance if you're new here. It will just ring up at the register. See, this Lego set, it just rang up. It's like a piece of cake. Here I am with the sun in my eyes, wearing my Maury shirt. And all I know is we are gonna do this. I'm definitely not giving up. You know what, really quickly, if you're watching this video right now, introduce yourself in the comments, say your name, say where you're from, and tell me a fun fact about you. I wanna get to know everyone that watches these videos be like my name is dolores i'm from tennessee and i love drinking eggnog something cool like that we will always have each other walmart number five let's just take a little dive into walmart number five let's take a little dive <laughs> Walmart number five was the first for me. I got there and everything was normal. I saw these kicker car speakers. I saw these sunglasses and then something that's never happened to me before happened. All right, guys. So the craziest thing just happened. Do you remember in that video when I found that coffee maker and I gave it to a woman named Claudia out in the parking lot and she was like, what? <laughs> she is right here. I walked in. I just got here and she was like, it's me, Claudia. Yeah. Ta Hi. And Claudia says, make sure you go and watch that other video after this one. Mm -hmm. Definitely, right? Ha <laughs> ha. 
So that was fun running into Claudia again. I see some fitness equipment, I see some basketball stuff, I see some buckets. Then I went to the toy section, I searched it underneath the rack, on top of the rack, and I found no penny item. I galloped over to Sporting Goods and I saw these umbrella chairs on clearance. You gotta scan them with the Walmart app just to make sure, folks. And then I noticed they have Pioneer Woman ice cream mix. At this point, I'm getting a little ticked off. I really wanna find a three cent item. They can't stop me. I mean, they could probably stop you, but they definitely cannot stop this guy. I broke the penny bag. I'm not perfect. So this is super embarrassing. Somewhere along the way, I lost one of my socks, but I didn't lose my tan line. It was at Walmart number six where I decided to aggressively search beneath the rack. I've had some luck finding three cent items down there before in previous videos. I don't recommend you do this per se, but I'm trying to make a video here. I didn't find anything interesting underneath the racks, but of course I found some dime items. At this point, I was thinking, what if I could tell you it's just 10 pennies, right? This is a 10 penny item. These storage bins are only 10 cents, but no, they're dimes. They don't count, they're disqualified, but I bought 20 of them anyway. When I was leaving that Walmart, the two girls by the door that were working started laughing and they said his shirt when I walked away. I don't know what that means. This shirt's pretty bodacious. Let's carry on, folks. I'll tell you this, as soon as I walked into Walmart number seven, this is where I truly started to feel desperate because I was thinking, I'm seven Walmarts deep, there's no way I can turn back now. I have to find a penny item in this video. I started to move quickly because I really wanted to make something happen. I searched the clearance section, I saw these webcams for only $5 when I scanned them with the Walmart app, it's a good price. Then these wireless keyboards and mouses are also only $5, a really great price, but no penny item. Call me Maury because I'm looking for the results. Sweet home Alabama. When I got to Walmart number eight, I decided it doesn't matter if it's a three cent toy, I just wanna find a three cent anything. I saw some cheap makeup, some cheap chalk, and a cheap desk for only $25. I couldn't find any penny items. I even turned to places I found penny items in the past. Like I found three cent honey before, but I found nothing. I feel like I'm not gonna put this next part in the video. I was just so sad and overwhelmed. I tried so hard to deliver for you in this video. I was just recording this part and I was crying walking through the parking lot and some people were looking at me and they were looking at my shirt. What is wrong with my shirt? Y'all are crazy, it's a good shirt. We're at Walmart number nine. Do you wanna fly? Do you wonder why? It's starting to get dark, and if you look at my eyes, you can see just how tired I am in the rest of the video. I just keep getting more and more tired, but I can't stop. I really want to see this video through. You know, I have this weird thing about me. When I get something in my mind, I really need to get it done. So we're here at Walmart number 10 looking for a three cent item. I feel like most people would have given up, but I'm just not that guy. I don't have that guy inside of me. I'm a Maury Povich kind of guy. I wore the shirt for a reason. We're looking hot out here. Walmart number 11. Walmart number 11 was a total bust. You said you were going penny shopping. That is a lie. Maury. People are looking at me like I'm exhausted. 12. Please don't make fun of me. I'm at Walmart number 12 and I know I'm acting a little weird. The thing is, I am so tired, I am so hungry, and I'm feeling so desperate and discouraged. And it is a lot later than you think. Just to put things into perspective here, by the time I got to Walmart 13, it was already closed. Do you want to go back to my place with me? That's what I thought. together today is a new day walmart number 14 let's see what we can do It's a new day, but the mission hasn't changed. We're on the hunt for penny items here. I see some cool stuff though. There's some car cleaning stuff. There's lots of outdoor stuff. I see this Mickey and friends thing, but you know, there's no penny item. So somebody throw me a diving board because I'm diving underneath the racks in this Walmart. I literally check every rack in the toy section. I don't do the whole store, but the toy section, there's usually a good chance you'll find some three cent toys under there. And for anyone wondering, yes, I sure do want to walk out of this video with a victory. It's honestly not looking good though. I'm gonna buy this just because I don't wanna leave here empty handed. I should probably be pushing with my brain and make this video about something else, but I'm pushing with my heart. Walmart number 15, can you believe it? This is ridiculous. 
if you know anything about Mori, he's a big advocate of waiting for the results. So we're gonna wait for the results in this video. I hope you wait around to see if I find a three cent item. In this store, I saw some $1 kites. Have you ever set out to do something and you kind of get a little nervous that you're not gonna be able to do it? Well, I'm in that phase right now. But at the same time, you can't stop me. They can't stop me. Nothing can stop me. Unless I have to go to like 50 Walmarts. That might stop me. This next part of the video is actually pretty cool. It's kind of one of those oh snap moments. So I saw these lion bowls and when I scanned them, right? They're kids bowls. They're shaped like a lion. They're 10 cents. I was like, that's kind of good, right? There's a whole stack of them. I thought that was cute. What was even more cute was there were these bear plates just sitting there all by themselves. I scanned them with the Walmart. They were also 10 cents and there was a ton of them sitting here. Then I saw these owl plates and guess what? 10 cents. I couldn't believe it. I don't really need these. So I told a stranger. These are only 10 cents. Really? Only 10 cents. They're not clearance. They're not marked. Oh my gosh. I decided to walk out of the store with 20 of those bowls and I paid for them. They were so cheap. You, me, anything is possible. They can't stop us. I mean, they could probably stop you, but they definitely can't stop me. We are now in Walmart number 16, and I would argue that is ridiculous. I see a Fortnite beach towel, then I see this toy that I had seen like a month ago for only $5. I decided to scan it with the Walmart app just to check, and it was only $5 sitting right there on the shelf. I almost bought the thing, but I was like, I'm here for penny items. I just wish penny items were here for me. Things are starting to get so out of hand that when I actually find a three cent item in one of these Walmarts, and I will, I'm going to take a duck face selfie with that item. <laughs> duck face selfie time, baby. Let's go, we can do it. Walmart number 17, we're still on that penny grind. Alrighty, we have a wreath, we have some cold medicine, we have a candle, then we have some shampoo and body wash, all on clearance. We have some shims for your basket, I don't know, for your bed, I don't know, I'm tired, but there's no penny items. These toys right here are often three cents, but not in this store. Then I found a trampoline and I bounced my way up to the top of the shelf to check the back. I found this ice cream flavored, this ice cream shaped balloon. I scanned the thing, it was 97 cents. It wasn't three cents. I'm mad, I'm not happy. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up. I went over to the electronic section, looked at the CDs, I saw an ACDC for a dollar. And then I saw these Bluetooth speakers at an amazing price. There's tons of them in stock as well. And that's when I had the idea. How about karma? I'm a big believer in karma. Maybe I can buy one of the Bluetooth speakers and give it away to someone in the parking lot. And maybe then we can find a three cent item. So I'm literally going to walk out of this Walmart and give this Bluetooth speaker away to somebody because I need that karma. I really believe in the karma. Who do y'all think I should give this away to? You see anyone interesting? Excuse me, brother. Do you want this for free? All right, first people said no. Excuse me, would you like this for free? <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any interest in a free Bluetooth speaker? I see a family right over here at the stop sign holding up a sign. It looks like they're going through difficult times. I'm going to give them this for free. You guys want a Bluetooth speaker for free? For free, all set, brother. Well, thank you very much. You can sell, you it, you so can sell it, do whatever you want, man. Thank you very much. You got it, brother. Good luck, all right? You're welcome. We're at Walmart number 18, and I could go all day, all week, all month. I hope I don't have to. Let's figure this out. Oh, yeah, kisses. Did Walmart 18 have a lot of the same old, same old? You betcha. I scanned this utensil set by Pioneer Woman. It said $15 on the tag, but it was only $5 hidden clearance. But unfortunately, that was the highlight of the clearance section. I went over to the toy section. I decided I'm gonna buy that item right there for $1.47 for my boys, but I went under the racks. I went behind the stuff on the racks. I was looking everywhere. I really look so hard. You can't see it in the video, but I look so hard. Come on though, you have to admit, this is getting a little embarrassing. I can't believe it, but Walmart number 19. When I go to tons of Walmarts, I get a little delirious. And I want to say right now to anyone watching this, I don't know what you look like, but I know you're adorable. I can just tell by the energy. I was really hoping Walmart number 19 could deliver a three cent item for us because the next Walmart is over an hour away and I really don't feel like driving there. So I spent way more time than usual in Walmart number 19 combing through every single part of the store. I even went outside looking at the plants, looking at the seeds, looking at the flowers. I couldn't find anything. I feel like I'm losing a part of myself with every Walmart I go to. Seriously though, this didn't turn out the way I was expecting. To get to the next closest Walmart, I have to drive like an hour from here and I, I've already driven over an hour from where I live. I'm getting wet, but that's what I get. If you see water on my face, I swear I'm not crying. 
it's just the rain. You know what's really crazy? If I didn't set out to find a three cent item in this video, I probably would have found a three cent item in the very first store because that's just how it works. So I drove out to the country for this reason right here. Check out the dates on these clearance tags. They were marked back in February, January. Some of them were marked November 2020. That is a sign that these items in this store don't move out as quickly as other areas. That's why I drove out to the country and that is a massive clue when you're looking for three cent items. You're also gonna notice when you go to a Walmart in a less populated area, you're gonna find lower prices, which makes tons of sense. I see some 25 cent flip flops over here. You can't beat that price. I see some umbrella chairs, but then I went to the toy section. This is where it went down. So just like every other store I checked the toy clearance very diligently I went down on the floor with my phone camera and I checked to see if there was anything within reach and I saw this right here it looked interesting because I hadn't seen this at any other store it's called a Palmsies I had already scanned so many items from underneath the rack I thought nothing of this but it was three cents it was actually three cents I couldn't believe it I was so happy I was so relieved I was so excited but then I was nervous because they can reject you when you try to buy a three cent item so here's a tip make sure you buy something with your three cent item so they don't notice the three cent items being purchased I bought some wax mounts and voila, I made it out the door. Oh yeah, I almost forgot we have a deal. <laughs> this little bad boy was the magic. Now, what we learned here today was if you want to go penny shopping at Walmart, it's going to be extremely difficult. I had to go to 20 Walmarts just to find this item, and I just got lucky. I don't know who's still going to be watching this video, but I do know if you're watching this right now, you are the best. Look at my eyes. My eyes don't lie. I love and appreciate you so much. This video took a ton of effort. Make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe so you can catch all of my future videos. I am so tired. If you made it till the end, let me know what your favorite snack is in the comments. You can say anything. Swiss rolls, corn on the cob, celery sticks. I want to read what you're snacking on tonight. Until next time, I'm super unsexy. And you, you, you are ridiculously amazing. There's nothing further from the truth. See you soon.